First of all, here's a bit of an overview, right? We can create a bit of a map of the voice. And by doing this, we, we analyze the voice mentally that we can then access any sound that you want or control it or extend it. So the first thing to focus on any time, no matter what we're doing with singing, any style, is to focus on the support. Now support is actually holding back the breath. It's what we do instead of, right, if, if you breathe in a lot, and if we're going, holy, 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 right, it's quite breathy. It might be quite nice to be breathy, but technically we run out of energy. We uh, might get dizzy. We might not carry on for very long. So we need to be holding back the breath instead. So that's number one on my list, on my map of the voice, right? The second point is twang. Twang is what you get where you say the word twang. It's that ah sound. Now everybody has this. There's a minimum amount that you need to be healthy with the voice. This can also increase your sustain. It can also increase your range and increase your volume and it looks after the voice too because it's providing a protection over your vocal cords. The third point is about just avoiding protruding the jaw, tightening the lips and allowing the tongue to do its work. And that's the basic principles for any style. And it doesn't matter if you're doing gospel, classical, uh, heavy rock, uh, folk music, or even actually just doing a speech, right? These are basic uh, principles. They're not basic in that they're like for beginners, right? Everybody needs to return to this again and again and again. Singing is, is, is something you don't graduate in. You develop it as you go. So that's the basic principles. To give you an overview of what's coming next, what I want to do is just uh, talk about four vocal modes. And I'm going to call them one, two, three, four. They have other names. These go up in volume. So your, your mode one is the quietest and mode four is the loudest. And in fact, each of these have rules. They have rules so we could say that actually soprano could be mode number one, right? Um, it's the quieter one. It can go quite loud in the top part of your voice. So it's more like a, if I do a siren through my range and I go It can go quite loud up there, um, but it's, it's still the quietest sound. I would like to skip to four because that's the loudest. If you're shouting at someone, shouting not being painful shout, something like a hey, you raise your voice. Because if we are going If you were to put your hand here and we go, oh, and compare it to, oh, then actually that is a different mode. It's got different rules. And you can do this all the way through your range. You know, you might hear sometimes we, we think of a vocal break, right? But actually it's only because the voice hasn't obeyed those rules. Now, another thing about talking about soprano is about how bright or dark it is. And this is something that we call sound color sound color there. So we could be darker, we could be oh, or we could be lighter. And there's a whole sliding spectrum of where you want to go with that. So maybe if you want to work with that, then we could also look at how, how light or dark you, you want the voice to be. It's quite a stylistic choice though, really. So there's technique behind it. There are six ways we can control the sound color, um, but it's kind of an artistic choice at the end of the day. That's what I mean by a map of the voice. So we can actually think about it in technical building blocks. There's a lot more to singing than just technique. Um, I'm a big fan of working with interpretation too. So that means what are you talking about? Who are you speaking to? Uh, living the song, uh, bringing it to life. Now, if we're interpreting something, then and we don't have technique, we might not be able to do all the sounds we want to do. And if we're only working on technique, it might be a bit boring and lifeless, you see. So we've got to marry the two things together. And working with technique like this gives you a whole palette of sounds, uh, technical tools that we can pick from in order to be able to express any sound that you want. I hope that helps for now. Let me know how you find it. Any feedback would be great. I will recommend the support training video for you. That's an uh, online course that I've started to create. If you want to do a Skype sometime, we can do that. Um, just talk about time zones and things like that. 
So uh, hope to hear from you soon. Thank you. The bottom of the lungs are attached to the diaphragm, which is the main muscle that makes us breathe. Inside, the diaphragm lowers when you breathe in and rises when you breathe out. That's for normal breathing, but it's a bit different when we're using our voice. In, out. Fifteen in, out for sixteen, and the last one. 